time for us with Mr. Thomas. Old MacDonald had a farm. Chapter 11, lesson number 5, the equation of a plane. So first of all, Timothy, what is a plane? <coughs> Timothy, you are perfectly right, but you're also silly. In terms of maths, what is a plane, Mr. Marshall? Yes, a plane is a flat two-dimensional surface, as I've tried to show here. Perfectly right. Let's say we have a vector that is perpendicular to that plane, as shown by this diagram. That vector that's perpendicular is known as a normal vector, and it's written just with the letter N. The equation of a plane then, well if it's got a normal vector, which can be written in the form ai plus bj plus ck, well the a, the b and the c can be used in the equation of a plane. So that will be of the form ax plus by plus cz equals k. So the a, the b and the c from the normal vector, the vector that's at right angles to the plane, becomes the a, the b and the c in the equation of the plane and k is just a constant. A couple of notes, the coordinates of any point. So if you pick a random point on that plane, well, that will satisfy that equation. And how do you find the point k? Well, it can be found by substituting in the coordinates of any point on the plane. Well, let's look at some examples. So example one, find the equation of the plane perpendicular to the vector i take away 3j plus 2k and containing the point p, which has coordinates negative 1, 2 and 1. So the first thing we need for the equation of a plane is the normal vector. Well, it tells you here that the plane is perpendicular to this vector here. So we know because it's perpendicular, it's a vector, it's a normal vector. So we know then the normal vector, written with the letter n, will be the i take away 3j plus 2k, and that's the vector normal to the plane. Therefore, because that's the normal vector, if you take the coefficients of i, j, and k, so you've got the 1, the negative 3, and the 2, well, you can put them into the equation of the plane, so they will replace the a, the b, and the c. So you can say then that the equation of the plane will therefore be of the form 1x take away 3y plus 2z equals k where again k is a constant. So all you're doing is you're taking the coefficients of i, j and k and you're putting them in front of the x, the y and the z for the equation of the plane. We know that the plane contains the point p, which is negative 1, 2 and 1. Therefore, if we substitute x to be negative 1, sub in the 2 for y and the 1 for z, we can find the value of k. So substitute x equals negative 1, y equals 2, and z equals 1 into that equation of the plane, and do, 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 we would end up with the negative 1 take away 3 times y, so 3 times 2, add on 2 times z, so 2 times 1. Work that out, and you end up getting k to be negative 5. This means then the equation of our plane will be... Just going back to here, we've got x take away 3y plus 2z equals k. Because we know z is negative 5, we can replace that. So we've got x take away 3y plus 2z equals negative 5. And that's the equation of the plane. Woo! Example 2. p is the point 2, 1, negative 4. And q is 1, 2, 3. Find the equation of the plane perpendicular to pq, which contains point p. So, whenever you get one of these questions, I always like to do a little sketch at the side. Try to draw a picture of what this is telling us. So, we know we have a plane, and we know it contains that point P. So, there is our plane. There is point P with 2, 1, negative 4. We're wanting to find the equation of the plane perpendicular to PQ. So, if we draw in Q just above P, we've got that vector there. We can see then that that will be at a right angle. So the first thing we need in order to get the equation of the plane is we need the normal vector. So the normal vector is the vector that is at right angles to the plane. But you can see here that PQ will be perpendicular. It tells you that in the question. So we're needing to work out, first of all, PQ. So a normal vector to the plane is going to be N, which in this case, it will be PQ. To work that out then, so for PQ, you would have Q take away P. So we'd have the 1, 2, 3, and we're going to be subtracting the 2, the 1, and the negative 4. So 1 take away 2, 
2 take away 1, and 3 take away negative 4. If you work that out, that will give us Keech. Brilliant, you'd have negative 1, 1, and 7. That means then the equation of the plane, because the normal vector has the components negative 1, 1, and 7, the equation of the plane will have negative 1x plus 1y plus 7z, and that will equal k, where once again k is a constant. How do we find out this value of k, Ginny? What can we do? Brilliant. You know point P lies on the plane, so you can sub in the values of x, y, and z into the equation of the plane. Make sure you're not subbing in q, because q does not lie on the plane, so the only point you can sub in here is P. So doing that, point P lies on the plane, so we've got 2, 1, and negative 4. So subbing them into the equation of the plane that we have, negative x plus y plus 7z equals k, well that will give us negative x will become negative 2. We're adding on y, so it's add on 1, and then we're adding on 7 times z, so 7 times negative 4. Work that out, and you end up getting joy, negative 29. Perfectly right. Good, so k will equal negative 29. That means then the equation of the plane is... Dun, 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 dun. Well, we've got this negative x plus y plus 7z equals k. We know k is negative 29, so we'll say that equals negative 29. Yes, you could always multiply through by negative 1. You could hear a couple of people asking that. If you multiply through by negative 1, you will end up with positive 1x. Take away y, take away 7z, and that will equal positive 29. That would also be accepted. Woo! Example 3, the equation of a plane of a line L is given by x over negative 2 equals y plus 2 over negative 1 equals z take away 9 over 2. The plane pi is perpendicular to line L and passes through the point 1, negative 4, 2. Find the equation of the plane pi. Bum, ba, lum, bum, bam. For this, it's always best to maybe do a little sketch at the side showing what that is talking about. So we've got plane pi, so just have this flat 2D surface. That is going to be plane pi. And we know that we have this line L. Line L is perpendicular to the plane. If we're wanting to find the equation of plane pi, well, the first thing we need is the normal vector. How do we go about getting the normal vector? Well, just remember, you can see here that the equation of the line L is written in symmetric form. When it's written in symmetric form, which is this, you can easily get the vector. So a vector that's in the direction of the line. At the bottom here, the denominator makes up that direction vector. So you can see then that the vector negative 2, negative 1, 2 is going to be a vector that's parallel to line L. That will be a direction vector. So you don't know where it will be. It could be down here, could be over here. We don't know. The only thing we know is it's going to be parallel. The vector negative 2, negative 1, 2 is going to be parallel to L. And because of that, well, that means that it's going to be a vector that's normal to plane pi. So this vector here is parallel to that line and because it's parallel means it's right angles to the plane so we know it's going to be a normal vector. Therefore because we've got the components negative 2, negative 1 and 2 we know the equation of the plane will be of the form negative 2x take away 1y plus 2z equals k and we're taking that negative 2, negative 1 and 2 just from those components of the normal vector. We know as well that the point 1, negative 4, 2 lies on the plane. We were told that in the question. So how do we go about getting this value of k? What do we do? Brilliant. We can sub those values of x, y, and z in. So doing that, we've got negative 2x take away y plus 2z equals k. Replace x with 1, replace y with negative 4, and replace z with 2. That will give us negative 2 times 1. Take away negative, negative 4, take away negative 4, plus 2 times z, so it's going to be plus 2 times 2. Work that out, and we will end up getting for k, 6. Which means then the equation of plane pi is going to be this negative 2x, take away y, plus 2z equals 6. You could also write that, if you multiply through by negative 1, as 2x 
plus y take away 2z equals negative 6. Both, once again, are accepted. Try some of these questions in the booklet, page 41, unit 3 booklet. Best of luck working out the equation of a plane. Woo! E-I-E-I-O.